Hello everyone and welcome back to another instructive chess game from the chess history. And in this chess game, white is Garry Kasparov and his opponent is Sergei Bigan. And this game was played in 1978. And let's check out how this game went on. Garry Kasparov starts the game with playing d4, d5, c4, e6. The queen's gambit declined. Knight to c3, knight to f6, knight to f3, c5. C takes on d5. And Sergei Began captured the pawn. And black captured the pawn with the knight. Knight takes on d5. And this is the semi tarash defense. e3, knight to c6, bishop to d3, bishop to e7. And both players castled. Exchanging the knights, e4, defending, d takes on c5, bishop takes pawn, e5, by Kasparov, clearing the path for the bishop, and Kasparov has a nasty plan with this bishop. Black played bishop to e7, queen to e2, knight to b4, and as I said, Kasparov has a nasty plan with the bishop, defending, Bishop to d7, a3, kicking the knight away, queen to e4. The threat is simple, queen takes on h7, check, mate. Defending, g6, bishop to h6, defending the rook, and immediately attacking from the h-file, h4 by Kasparov. As you can see, Giri Kasparov is looking very aggressive, immediately attacking, Impatiently, queen to b6, h5. Kasparov wants to open the h-file, and Kasparov wants to damage the pawn structure of black. If pawn takes pawn, then queen takes on h7. So f5 by black, attacking the queen, en passant. But black simply captured the pawn with the knight, attacking the queen and the pawn, defending and capturing the pawn. Black is a pawn up. Knight to e5. Attacking the bishop, maybe. Bishop to b5 now, by black. And it looks like black was very happy probably at this moment of the game. Attacking the rook with the bishop. And where is the rook going? Maybe white can defend with blocking with the bishop or with the knight. But Garry Kasparov is not defending anything. And he played an incredible move, not defending the rook, but attacking. Kasparov played, bishop takes on g6, what a move by Garry Kasparov, sacrificing the bishop. But we have knight to f6. Well, if capturing the bishop, if h takes on g6, then queen to e4, how to defend queen takes pawn, and then checkmating the king. There is no defense. Actually, there is no reasonable defense in this position. So this is why, instead of defending the rook, Garry Kasparov captured the pawn. Bishop takes on g6. But we have retreating the knight. Knight to f6. What would you do once again? Well, Garry Kasparov played another incredible move. Well, he captured the pawn. Bishop takes on h7. That's check. And black didn't capture the bishop. And black resigns. What an amazing, aggressive bishop sacrifice by Kasparov. And why did black resign? Let me show you the possible continuation. King takes on h7. And then, how to check the king? You can't check the king from here. But you can check the king with queen to b1. That's check. How to defend? Blocking. Queen takes bishop. Check. Blocking with the knight. Queen takes on e4. Check. King takes on h6. After king takes on h6. Queen to g6. Check. Mate. If trying to escape, let's say king to h8. Then knight to f7. King to g8. And queen to g6, check, mate. Once again, 
Black is getting checkmated. After this amazing move, bishop takes on h7. If knight takes on h7, then queen to e4. How to defend queen to g6? There is no defense. Bishop takes on f1, and queen to g6. Check. King to h8, and queen to g7. Check. Mate. Once again. And what an amazing, aggressive chess game by Garry Kasparov. First he played bishop takes on g6. After retreating the knight, he captured the pawn. Bishop takes on h7, and black resigns. That was like a knockout blow for black. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Take care, and bye bye.